So men can lack wisdom and they can know they lack wisdom. It takes humility to come to that state of awareness. Why are my results like this? If you are not honest with yourself and you flatter yourself, you know, I'm sure it's just one condition, things are not working, it's a lie. Takes honesty and humility and admission. Ministry can be better than this. Business can be better than this. My family can be better than this. My children can be better than this. My school can be better than this. The shop or the mall I'm building can be better than this. Why is everybody in my organization hating me? I think it's just witchcraft. It may be true. But have you tested what wisdom can do in that organization? The opening of the eyes. Shinas Kabadi Kataliata. Grantes Kate Badida Kataya. Beranto. But just for you to know that the wisdom of God is very important. Listen, I have taught you that you see the power of wisdom in the quality of the decisions that you make. The proof of the presence of wisdom is the quality of the decisions that come out from your life. Because like you have learned here, you do not choose consequences. You only make choices and decisions. Are we learning now? Attached to every choice and attached to every decision is a consequence. You are not given the liberty to choose consequences. You can only make choices and decisions. And those choices and decisions already have consequences attached to them. The assignment of wisdom is to guide you using the lens of scripture and under the influence of the Holy Spirit so that through knowledge, through enlightenment, you can apply what you know, the correct scriptural application of knowledge for your profiting is what we call wisdom. Wisdom is not just knowledge. Wisdom is the correct scriptural application of truth. Because truth can destroy. When truth destroys, it is not wisdom. Is someone learning now? Many believers do not have the wisdom of God working in their life. They have human wisdom. Some even have all kinds of demonic wisdom. How do you know that the wisdom of God is at work in your life? Because wisdom is connected to mighty works. You see ordinary men but mighty results, products of your decisions. Mighty works technologically, mighty works in business, mighty works in ministry. Everywhere you see mighty works that brings glory to the name of the Lord, it was built by wisdom. Proverbs 24 and verse 3. Through wisdom, the Bible says, a house is built. Let's have amplified. Through wisdom, the Bible says, a house, a home, anything at all. When it has to do with building a life, a home, a destiny, it is built by wisdom. Great corporations are built by wisdom. Great ministries are built by wisdom. Great organizations are built by wisdom. Please hear me, believers. Every time you see mighty works that glorify God, wisdom is there. There are many believers who love Jesus, but you may never build anything mighty because the wisdom of God is not at work in your life. You don't have to be bad to lack wisdom. But if you do not have wisdom, many things will not be built in your life. You cannot fake the presence of wisdom. Your works implicate you. Did you hear what I said? You cannot fake the presence of wisdom. No. Wisdom is not one of those things you claim and say, I have. Uh-uh. There is no bragging about it. If it is not at work in your life, it will show immediately the absence of mighty works is the proof that wisdom is absent. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you, there are several people today, the reason why their lives are stunted it's not just because of causes. Please listen to me. There are families today. There are great ministers. Lab Co-laborers in the gospel. Their works are small and stunted today. 
not because God does not intend for them to rise. They have not accessed the wisdom of God. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when you access the wisdom of God, your life becomes a wonder. The works speak. The quality of your decisions, your life will change at the instance of the arrival of wisdom. Are we learning? In Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9, Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9, the Bible says, and Joshua, I like that. Everywhere I see Joshua, I smile. He's talking about me. The one who has died, safe journey, we'll meet when we get there. But as far as I'm alive, I become a representation of everything. If there's anything bad, I reject it. If there's anything good, I receive it. Dr. Mudok would define wisdom as the ability to discern difference. Is that true? Let's finish that scripture. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. What was he full of? The spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid hands on him. I like the fact that wisdom can be transferred. Does that mean someone is carrying it tonight? Hmm. And the children of Israel hearkened to him. You see that when people don't listen to you, it's because wisdom is not flowing from you. The human spirit, born again or otherwise, can detect the presence of wisdom. Let me tell you the truth. The human spirit doesn't have to be recreated. The moment the wisdom of God is finding expression, everybody within you can know that this is not just human ideas and philosophies. It says, I will give you a mouthpiece and a wisdom that no man can gainsay nor resist. Listen, if God sends you, make sure you cry for wisdom. Don't just understand your message. It takes wisdom. Colossians 1 16. Let me show you something. Or 1 verse 9. Colossians 1 verse 9, I believe. Please give it to us. Let's hurry up. Let's read together. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, uh -huh, and to desire that ye be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom. And spiritual understanding what makes mighty men from weak men is not their size mm -mm. it's not their region is wisdom show me a man who has access wisdom from God you become a wonder to your world you believe me when I tell you this show me a man in ministry show me a businessman who has by whatever scriptural means Access the wisdom of God, whether directly from God as he imparted upon Solomon or by submitting to vessels that carry that oil. Or wisdom that comes from scripture. When that thing lands on your life, the difference becomes clear. You believe me when I tell you this. The deficiency of results in the body of Christ is absence of divine wisdom. Now, we pride over intellectual wisdom and I'm, I'm not against that human wisdom common sense brain work these things are wonderful but you need to understand that you cannot birth the purposes of God to his expectation using the intelligence of men alone unbelievers know this in addition to all their education and their reading they will fraternize with spirits to say come and help me I cannot do this by myself it would be foolish for me and an insult on your intelligence to make you believe that Koinonia Global was built just by the idea of a man. No. You know how many ideas, organizational ideas, you need to sample in the strength of the flesh to build? No. There is a place for that. But let me tell you the truth. There is an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. When it rests upon you, the difference becomes clear. Some of the messages you see coming out from here, I have no hand in some of them. I may have studied to put them together, but some of them I go to bed, some of them while I'm praying, some of them while I'm doing something else, it comes. It's the wisdom of God. 
If you don't have the wisdom of God as a preacher, if you like, read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You will preach every revelation you have. You will be confused before yourself and your members. They will know you are exhausted. It takes wisdom. There is a fountain that keeps flowing. It will never end, I tell you. Our fathers have touched up this fountain and they've been preaching for 40 years, week in, week out. It never runs dry. There are great businesses that have been built today on account of wisdom. There are great organizations that have been built today giving God glory, wisdom. The Bible says, does any man lack wisdom? So men can lack wisdom and they can know they lack wisdom. It takes humility to come to that state of awareness. Why are my results like this? If you are not honest with yourself, and you flatter yourself, you know, I'm sure it's just one condition, things are not working, it's a lie. Takes honesty and humility and admission. Ministry can be better than this. Business can be better than this. My family can be better than this. My children can be better than this. My school can be better than this. The shop or the mall I'm building can be better than this. Why is everybody in my organization hating me? I think it's just witchcraft, it may be true. But have you tested what wisdom can do in that organization? There are many things I didn't know before. I cried unto God and I said, Father, grant me wisdom. Grant me wisdom. Grant me wisdom. When that impartation comes, it is part of the ministry of wisdom to discern people before they become. It is wisdom that will help you to see someone and know that that is going to be the greatest prayer secretary, the greatest um, Bible study secretary, the greatest pastor that will come out from you because you cannot know in the flesh. You can see somebody so stubborn, but wisdom can tell you endure. There is a giant rising out of here. If you don't have wisdom, you will drive good people from your life because you cannot see their future at that point. All leaders need wisdom. It is the ability to harness potential. You can see somebody looking all loyal and wonderful, but the Spirit of God tells you, get this person out of your organization now. Ten years from now, you will regret. It's wisdom. Because you don't know. Jesus will say, come unto me, you will call him a demon. Judas will say, come and you will come, because there's no wisdom. The ability to discern is not there. There are many of you, everybody in your life have, has access to your Holy of Holies. It is not wisdom. The tabernacle was built carrying three layers. There is the outer court. There are things that stay at the outer court. There is the inner court. There are people and things that stay at the inner court. Only foolish people grant anybody access to the inner chambers of your life and your destiny. It doesn't work that way. I learned by wisdom and from men that carry wisdom. Never promote people beyond their last level of honor. It is a disaster. So says wise people. When you promote this honor, you are putting a knife at your own neck. This alone can be a deliverance for someone. Are we in church? You want to see the glory of God manifest in your life? You need wisdom. You need wisdom. Apostle, but God gave me four boys. I'm tired of them. Let me tell you the truth. Your tiredness has not even started till you get wisdom. Because those boys are not, the, you are gone are the days where a parent is the only person that mentors the children. Social media carries more influence on them than many families. You will need wisdom. Are we together? Years ago, if you don't like what your children are watching, all you need to do is to off the central television and that's the end of it. Everybody goes to sleep with anger, but they go to sleep. Unfortunately, as you are off in that television, it becomes a, a more convenient viewership for the people. They can flip all kinds of things. You need wisdom. There are many unending battles in the lives of people because they lack wisdom. God comes to Solomon by night and says, ask, what will I give to you? And he said, I am young. I'm not able to lead these people. Would you give me an understanding heart to discern judgment? That was a way of asking for wisdom. And God was so impressed. He says, you had a chance to ask for the life of your enemies. You had a chance to ask for all of that because this is what you asked for. 
I have given to you what you desire. And in addition, I will give you the thing you did not pray for. Riches, wealth, and honor like no king has ever had. That man woke up not knowing that he had carried wisdom. The first demonstration of wisdom in his life was judging the case between two harlots. That's a very powerful revelation because the Bible says two harlots went to sleep. They both had children. Are we together now? And the Bible says, I don't know how they slept, but one slept on her child. I can spend all day teaching on that. So you can sleep on your child and never see the glory of God. Because the Bible says in, I think Luke or so, it says when they awoke, they saw the glory of God. Those who sleep and remain sleeping, sleep on everything, including their visions, including their dreams. So the Bible says the woman once slept on her child. And when she woke up in the night, she found out that her child was dead. But the child of the other was still alive. That's why you should pray in the night. Many things have happened to people in the night. It was in the night Joseph confused Rachel with Leah. Night is absence of light. It's not just darkness. Every time you make decisions without light, you are acting in the night. And many mistakes happen in the night. Seven years was added to a man's destiny. Digressing to give you a point. The Bible says Joseph, I mean um, um, Jacob in the house of Laban. Are we together now? He saw Rachel. He liked Rachel. He said, listen, let me work for you for seven years and I'll have Rachel. And by that night, my God, I rebuke night from your life. Yeah. Hear me, I prophesy to you, everything that covers you from accessing light and you are, you are groping in the night, making all kinds of destiny mistakes, may your eyes be open. The Bible says he called the darkness night and the light he called day. So day is not just afternoon or morning. Day is whenever your light comes. Darkness is you can be 12 noon in the afternoon, but it can still be night for you because there is no light. Do you know how many things happen in the night? Good things do happen in the night. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang. Deliverance happened in the night. But trouble happened in the night. Should I tell you one more thing that happened in the night? While men slept. Which farmer comes to plant in the night? Come on, talk to me. Do you plant in the night? You rest in the night. But there is a mysterious farmer. And he will come near your house sooner or later because he roams around. He's waiting for those. The moment he sees darkness over your life, he assumes you are ready to sleep. Darkness can mean spiritual slumber. I'm saying many things already to someone tonight. Darkness can mean a state where you are not conscious of spiritual things. While men slept, this mysterious farmer who does not farm in the day. No. While you are active, giving God praise, watering your seeds, watering your destiny, that farmer stays far and keeps hoping that discouragement will bring night upon you. Keeps hoping that whatever will bring night, the moment he sees your sun going down, aha, he carries his seeds. So that you intend to plant favor, but what you are reaping is pain and all kinds of things. And you are wondering, who joined me in this farming? Because I remember the seeds I intended to sow. You see, if you farm in the day, you can know when a stranger intrudes. But when it is darkness, you will not know when someone is also throwing seeds in your farm. Again, I pray for you. May darkness be far from your life. May darkness be far from your life. You know what seeds are? Let me tell you what the farmer carries. According to the parable that Jesus gave, seeds are words. This is what makes the seeds powerful. Because you don't have to be at the location where the disaster should happen for the seeds to fall. You can stand from a distance and still sow. Wisdom. 
you need to pray for wisdom tonight. There are many of us that lack wisdom. It is clear. Everybody you brought into your life was the person sent by the devil to destroy you and you didn't have the eyes to see. What you need is wisdom. Are we together now? Yeah. Wisdom. No discernment. When trouble was about to come in an area, the person in that house left and you were the one who went and entered the house. As soon as you entered the house, the police came and said, whoever is in this house should go to the police station. You say, I'm a new tenant. I just came yesterday. They said, follow us still. Wisdom. Wisdom is connected to mighty works. I have seen many people who love God, but they cannot do much for the glory of God because there is no wisdom. Many families have become and remain small. Many destinies have become and remain small because they lack wisdom. I saw the deficiency of wisdom in my life. I knew that wisdom was beyond education. Thank God for education. They are enhancers. But let me tell you the truth. The wisdom that comes from above is an endowment of the spirit. And when it rests upon your life, wisdom is one of those things that speak immediately. Honestly, if it comes, if it actually lands on your head, it speaks immediately. Quality superior decisions. You can see someone and wisdom will draw you. Go and greet the person. And that becomes the relationship that lifts you to the next level. And people just look at your life and say, why are you just scaling heights? It's like everything you touch turns to gold. That is the very assignment of wisdom. Hallelujah. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Let me tell you the truth. When the wisdom of God is at work in your life, there is no problem that will not have an answer in your life. It's a matter of time. Show me a man that carries the wisdom of God. Bring any problem, spiritual problem, organizational problem, you clear out of the way. Just give him time. You will begin to see manifestations that are superhuman. Abilities and suggestions beyond the frame of humans. Let me tell you the truth, hear me. Some of you, your businesses are remaining small like this. What you need is beyond an idea. You need the help of God. Come in as his wisdom. Pastor, you may need the wisdom of God to bail you out of the reproach that stares you in ministry. You need wisdom. Let not the wise man glory. There are men that the Bible acknowledges as wise men. The wisdom of God is at work in their lives. Given by God. Given by God. Given by God. Ladies can carry wisdom. Men can carry wisdom. Adults can carry wisdom. Children can carry wisdom. When the wisdom of God is at work in your life, you don't just read verses. You draw mysteries from the verses you are reading. If you are still reading verses, you just have knowledge. The moment you can see light, in a verse light in a story the point of destiny application in any and every story the wisdom of god has arrived in your life can i tell you you will read the story of the ten virgins and close your bible that is knowledge you will read the story of noah and the ark and close your bible that is knowledge nothing from that story can apply to your life i hope you know that behind every verse there is the wisdom of god hiding and behind the wisdom of god there is the power of god that is the order the scripture then wisdom stands then power stands behind it the power does not move until the wisdom asks it to move the value of power is when it is directed by wisdom Power is like the fuel 
but wisdom is like the vehicle. What will you be doing with fuel when you don't have a car to drive it with? Mighty organizations can rise when the believers understand wisdom, the ability to discern, the ability to know judgment. Honor is a derivative of wisdom. When wisdom is at work in you, it will let you know that there are people you don't fight in your life, even if they are not born again. There are people who are not castable. God honors their position and God will give, make them to be at peace with you so that you will go. You will try to fight them, your life will be damaged in a way you cannot imagine. Wisdom. There are Cyruses, there are gatekeepers in the world of men. Although they are not saved, the sincerity of their heart has earned them a position that God recognizes. You don't fight such people. You pray that God grants them favor with you so that the gate can be open for you. There are many foolish people that have carried zeal without knowledge to their detriment. How about honor? It is wisdom that teaches you that when you see results you have not had, acknowledge it with your heart open and you will receive from it. Wisdom. Listen, when the wisdom of God comes upon you, everything becomes a lecturer to you. Everything. You look at the ants, you are learning something. You look at men, you are learning something. You look at fools, you are learning something. You look at wise people, you are learning something. You look at plants, you are learning something. One day, I sat down somewhere and I was watching a tree and I saw leaves falling under the tree and I was just watching quietly and the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, what you are learning is called the law of reciprocity that everything that is feeding you, you must also feed it to remain. The leaves coming from that tree are also falling on the ground. They will become manure. You see that now. Every time you stop feeding, and I heard a man of God say this later, that when you stop feeding what is feeding you, if it dies, you will die. So when somebody is a destiny helper, you also water that person's life by praying that what is making that person have the money to give you, may it continue. That is you feeding what is feeding you. I'm giving you wisdom. Hallelujah. It takes wisdom for a man to understand that when you don't pray, it's not just about backsliding spiritually, it is pride. Because prayer is the highest demonstration of humility. It is proof before God that you are aware that out of the help of God you cannot do much. Prayerlessness is not just sin, it is pride. It is a declaration of independence out of the assistance of God. I can do it on my own. And the Bible says, be not wise in your own understanding. Is someone learning? I recognize the absence of wisdom in my life. And I knew that no matter the prophecy that was over my head, I would not be able to do anything much for the kingdom if the wisdom of God were not there. Let me tell you the truth. There is nothing you can do with a man who has found the wisdom of God. Absolutely. Because you see, wisdom shows you the inner chambers in every palace. In ancient times, they built palaces and those palaces had fortresses. They had gates, but there were certain people called knights. They were the royal guards or the warriors of the king. They were inner chambers that had secret exits that nobody would know. They were inner chambers where the treasury of the nation was kept. The Holy Spirit can draw you by his wisdom and show you things. That means if you were supposed to come out of that, that, um, that kingdom, you only knew the door, but someone can show you another chamber and you will come out very fast. Those who carry wisdom can produce 10 years results in two months. And you will be angry and say life is not fair. No, the door you know is not the only door there. Just because they didn't follow your door does not mean they didn't follow a door. Did you hear what I said? Everybody must not follow your door to succeed. 
Jesus said, I am the door. That is a mystery. It means anywhere he stands, it is a door. If he stands close to a wall, you can walk through a wall, through him, and come out. It is a door. Wisdom. You want to run anything that will give meaning to life, you need wisdom. You need wisdom to organize your business, organize your ministry, organize your life, put power and honor to your life. There is a relationship between shame and foolishness. Did you hear what I said? Foolishness here, not being an insult, is the description of a person that is bankrupt of divine wisdom. I want you to be tired of making foolish decisions in your life this night. Some of you, you need to repent. All your decisions from January till now, you got into trouble, you were with the police, you finished from police, they stopped you somewhere, you are in trouble right now. Every day, you are making decisions that are moving you into a place of pain. God gave you 10 million naira by January. Right now, you do not even have up to a thousand naira. It's gone. Why? Because poor decisions, which are a product of the bankruptcy of wisdom, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness, that those who seek it early will find it. Is someone learning now? Let me tell you the truth. If the wisdom of God lands upon you, my dear man of God, my dear businessman, you will marvel and wonder. I give you one month with the genuine spirit of wisdom. You will be surprised to see your results. I'm telling you this. Listen, wisdom is the vehicle that speed uses to run. Wisdom is the vehicle that speed. You want to see speed in your destiny? Give speed wisdom and see what it can do. The chariot that wisdom, that speed climbs on to fast track your life is called wisdom. It is amazing how many believers ignore wisdom and want to prosper. No. Ignore wisdom and want to excel in ministry. Apostle, but um, you, you see my life. I'm a sincere graduate, but nothing is working in my life. I sympathize with you sincerely with all my heart. But I will still tell you, you are where you are because the absence of wisdom has chained you there. Your liberty comes when wisdom comes. History has done justice in documenting ordinary lives, sometimes miserable lives, that had nothing around them that looked like results, but some of those people were able to access wisdom. Let me show you three ways to access wisdom quickly.